I stepped away from my crusade. I needed to center myself once more, to find my true purpose, the way that I needed to focus into my mission. I was so thoroughly, absolutely, positively disgusted with these heretics allowing the mixing of the shapes. This shook me to my core. I, even through all of my xenophobic and hateful rhetoric, at no point did I consider that these nodes will start mixing like this. This just shakes me to the very foundations of who I am and what I represent as the real node buster. Prestige level three, it's a little too powerful for my current level of violence, but we're going to make it through. We're going to soldier on into this just sea of filth, this ocean of depravity. Look at, oh, the way those circles mingle with the right angles. Never in my life could I have considered something so filthy. Absolutely gross. Give me some extra damage. This is just not working out for me. I needed to do more powerful obliteration against these squares. They are becoming too damn big for their bridges. They are getting all uppity, all up with their tolerance and their inclusiveness. There's no inclusiveness allowed in this land. Pentagons with pentagons, the dodecahedrons, they're all up in the clouds. They are so far above us, we may as well be dirt compared to their godhood. And the fact that these disgusting squares have chosen to co-mingle with the angle-less, a lower thought could not cross my mind. They have zero angles, these guys. They're, they're savages. How can you exist with a circumfer circumf circumference? I'm just... I cannot even fathom an existence like, like this. Look at... Like, they explode when they cease to exist. Do you think that happens out of the... <laughs> is that coincidental? No, it is not a coincidence that they explode when they die. It is clearly a, a bit of divine intervention. They're like, clearly the gods themselves, the dodecahedrons in the blue sky above, the black mire of this pathetic garbage square node sphere. The, do the dodecahedrons above, they do not approve of the pie worshippers. Absolutely disgusting pie worshippers. There is only one truth. There is only one path to salvation. And that is the Pythagoras theorem. If you do not benefit from the Pythagoras theorem as the filthy angleless circle that you are, you do not belong in the land of of the sh geometrical shapes you are not even worthy or give me all of the damage i need it i need the most explosive brutal damage possible look at the this circles these this right here this upgrade right here is the dodecahedrons coming from the sky and bestowing the most powerful attacks upon my hand to make those awful terrible pie worshippers into the most deadly weapons in my hand. Look at this. Look at this pie worshipper getting blown up to bits. I didn't care that the explosion would not eradicate a whole lot of squares. The entire point was to, to curb the progress of the evil circle. I am just so disgusted. I cannot get past it. I, I just cannot get past the fact that these guys are all mingling together and look at how it's working out for them. 
This is what heresy happens. This is why it was preordained. The segregation was holy and forever immutable. 10% critical hit chances. 25% damage to undamaged enemies. And then... Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me more. The more damage per enemies in my area, the better. And I guess we can get a... Oh, yeah. A defense per enemy in the area. That is also extremely powerful. For I become more deadly and more holy the more heretics get into my crosshairs. It is just a matter of the more enemies that come at me, the more powerful I become. That is why I post the most trolling, most heinous comments on the internet. Because the more people I get mad, the more it tickles my fancy. And I extrapolate my trolling efforts into my holy crusade against these disgusting, all-inclusive geometrical shapes. Look at these. I seek them out. These uh, most evil of pie worshippers. This looking into the, the, the root of the universe and trying to glean out some actual excellent truths. 25% damage to undamaged enemies. I don't know why I clicked on that. That doesn't seem like super important compared to just more raw damage. But maybe I will be proven wrong. Maybe our prestige shall continue to rise. In fact, my power is so vast now that I am con constantly running out of targets again. It used to be that there were more enemies and they are enemies. They are the absolute enemies of the state, enemies of the church, enemies of freedom and existence itself, trying to become all round like. Look at the amount of them. They're being overtaken. This is what happens when you allow when you allow the circle into your square. Oh yeah, at first they're just all trying to integrate, just commingling, you know getting themselves into the environment being all like oh you know i fit in <laughs> but so suddenly they reproduce they start taking over and look at the ruin that it is bringing upon the square node land the absolute obliteration we need more more damage to these disgusting bosses buddy but we also need some uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, give me, give me big, big rewards. Maybe there's uh, something else to be found down here. No, no, no there's nothing. Uh, more damage, more damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go back into the breach. I cannot get enough of this square obliteration. Please. In fact, I am cons constantly running out of targets now. This is getting a little outrageous. I guess that my conversion rituals are a little too effective. And all of these damn squares, they are starting to be too afraid to uh, get into my sights. Can't believe I just chose a single out target like that when there's so many of these gatherings of idiots. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Target those, they are their weakness. Diversity is their weakness. As it was preordained by the dodecahedrons from above. They are never wrong. They can never be argued against. Oh yeah, there's... There's the boss. There's the boss. And I call them boss, but you know they're not really bosses. They are just pathetic, pathetic low-level henchmen. Damage enemies. Oh, yeah. More damage to the bosses. This is getting a little too silly. The amount of damage that these damn giganto squares, the bloated buffoons, are taking. I don't appreciate it. Kill those blue ones. They shall give me extra power. Just a little bit more uh, resources to come back and destroy these pathetic monstrosities. What else is going to come next? You know that they are, they're they're not going to stop here. Once they are infected by the diversity mind virus, there is no going back. The circles are going to start pushing for, oh, maybe we could get some lines in here. <laughs> Imagine this. <laughs> Imagine this. I can't believe I, I uttered that heresy just now. It just fills me with disgust just thinking about it. But for the circles, there's no lines. 
to cross. Therefore, they want the lines to be part of their entire their entire endeavor here. We need actually we kind of need more health to withstand the assault of the massive super square henchmen. We are encountering the squares and we're going immediately obliterated by their power of reflecting back my own holy power. And they don't have power of their own, you see. They, that's the thing. They are just using my weapons against me is the problem. If only I didn't have this horrible ultra cancer AIDS, I would be able to withstand their their assault with aplomb and extreme stoicism. As it, it is now, they just sent me packing my tail between my legs and my tears upon my cheek for they reflect the incredible power that I throw at them back at me and I have not kept up with my very own defense. I put all everything on the on the offensive because I am so full of disgust for these disgusting beings floating in the node sphere. Here I am down in the dumps cleansing cleansing existence from the heretics. Let's give myself a little bit more endurance. A little more extra health restore. One uh, percent of health per second. Looking pretty good. Okay, back into the breach we go. These nodes must be busted. It is my mission. Heaven sent. It does seem like the circle apocalypse may have been uh, averted. Look at all these beautiful uniform squares. There's just no circles to be found. This pleases me greatly. Maybe there is hope. Maybe there is hope for them yet. Here I was thinking that they were mindless buffoons. Uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I was just being bamboozled by their incredible ability to disguise their true intentions. Here I thought, oh man, maybe there is hope for them yet. Maybe if I just give them the chance to repent, to come on their knees to the dodecahedron supremacy doctrine, maybe. Maybe then we can all coexist together, separate but equal, obviously. I mean, separate and unequal. Let's not beat around the bush here. Pretty clearly, <laughs> possibly, you can't possibly say that the squares are on the same league as the hexagons or the octagons. Come on, come on, get real here. You gotta, you gotta, I mean, we all want a better world. We all want life to be a better time for everybody. I told you. I told you. I told everybody. I was preaching from the mountains. Nobody listened to me. And what happened? What happened? Now they became oblong. Here I thought that lines. There's no like oh, there's no way they will go for lines, right? Just just a line existing without a second dimension. <laughs> <laughs> the, the very idea is just preposterous but of course they went oblong what do you expect what do you expect from circles hmm nah that's kind of ass a critical chance is probably a good idea but I really need more endurance let's uh, put some points into being able to endure oh that's what I didn't even realize that the prestige level had gone up I was like what's going on I'm doing a lot less damage suddenly I did not realize that these disgusting monstrosities have leveled up their power without even telling me about it. What's the deal? What's the deal with the disgusting oblongs? They don't even explode. They just exist in this awful heretical hybrid form. Let me go back. Let me go back a level. I was not done with the cleansing back in Prestige 3. We need to go back and be sure that this land gets properly schooled. That's what happened. That's what happened. I went to Prestige 4. There wasn't enough circles to obliterate the opposition. Here we are back in Prestige 3. And now it is back to just down in the muck. I thought that we had climbed out of those disgusting lower echelons. Is it echelon? I think it's echelons, right? <laughs> lower echelons of existence. I thought that we were climbing into the clouds a little bit closer to holiness, but no, we're down here in the hellish depths of Prestige 3 and all the filthy garbage, trash, diversity, inclusion, 
and circle circle philosophy I cannot take it I cannot take it anymore I think I am starting to stare into the abyss and it's starting to stare back at me I'm starting to maybe maybe consider that they don't deserve immediate and fulminating death maybe I should open some dialogue with these poor misguided pathetic souls that all they want to do is float around and just exist in the black void is there a re like i don't think i don't think of the boss spawns once you kill it in press in the prestige level you the boss just stops existing it's like they move up a level you know it's they get completely destroyed by my incredible holy power and they're like we need to leave we need to leave this land they are fair weather friends to these guys these people they 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 these shapes got themselves bamboozled by the giant super squares they were taken by the incredible might of their girth and the purported truth of their lies and they got taken up just completely bamboozled by the possibility that there may be as an alternative doctrine to the most holy decahedron creed but the moment that the holy warrior such as myself comes around and destroys their bodily functions oh they are just leaving for the next prestige area leaving here the downtrodden to fare for themselves and now i'm here just just mowing down the chaff obliterating these poor buffoons that got bamboozled there basically i'm killing all the henchmen not shooting for the head of the organization that is why you don't want to spend time in lower prestige once the boss is done because all you're doing is just murdering the low level workers the pathetic drones that yeah you do want to kill them you need to be sure that they do not rise up with their numbers you know it's important to keep down the people but when you don't obliterate the head well the body is going to keep regenerating disgusting evil oblongs are taking over now it is so outrageous man i just cannot possibly wrap my mind around the absolute ultimate heresy of these people it just fills me with sadness honestly it's just like you used to be something you need you used to have proper angles you used to stand holy crap you used to stand for a uh, proper geometrical arithmetic but what are you now now you're in the shape of a pill you're taking on like the likeness of actual things so it's projectile our <laughs> projectile madness pulse bolts we are fully leveling up these pulse bolts this is a complete evolution look at me i told you eventually i will reach the level of sh machine gun and here we are here we are you thought that here i was just trudging in the muck forever just spewing hateful rhetoric without getting actual results but my prayers were answered my constant unrelenting hatred for those who mingle and who accept differences among themselves they have been answered by the dodecahedron creed and they have bestowed untold power upon my humble hands can we get maybe a little bit of extra resilience because th that seems to be the constant problem i keep getting murdered we actually got another incredible achievement for our dedication we have been into the breach mowing down buffoons 50 times in a row and now now is where the real fun begins let me do this barrel roll look at that amazing obliteration of their sad pathetic religious beliefs look at me taking advantage of their filthy diversity and bringing it against them truly visiting pain upon these oh 
Oh, the absolute smorgasbord of resources being collected. Yeah, the hell is uh, lowering pretty hard. All right. I think the blue ones do more damage. They have poisonous thorns. So let's uh, keep going up here. Get myself higher, higher armors. Because the damage being dealt back to me is too much to withstand. I just get a little too enthusiastic about the ethnic cleansing the arithmetic purification I didn't mean arithmetic I mean geometrical purification there may only be proper angles in this land and for as long as you filth mingle together you try to evolve into other shapes know your place know your place you Stupid squares! Can't believe you are getting these delusions of grandeur, trying to make yourselves into elongated, pill shaped abominations. This is truly disgusting. Give me extra armor, please. I need the extra armor. I must have. Oh man, there's probably stuff to claim now. We'll go back in there, get ourselves some extra boons from the dodecahedrons above. They always answer my prayers. They always know I am their most faithful warrior coming in here, spreading the gospel and cleansing the heretics. Because it's not enough to just visit mindless violence against those who oppose my views. No, 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 no. I must constantly preach the gospel of the dodecahedron dominion. Make sure these pathetic trash knows their place and they stop mixing up together like this oh no man i think it's just a, a lost cause by now it, it really does feel like it's a lost cause and it is just a matter of just obliterating the entirety of their population like they all just need to go you know sometimes you can salvage a wreckage sometimes your only choice is to build a new boat and not put circles in it. That is the important part. There cannot be any damn circles in my ark where we're going to all float away from the horrible flood that the dodecahedrons are going to inflict upon this mire, this filth, this low tier rung of existence. I mean, they're almost triangles. The triangles were eradicated so long ago. I was trying to pretend earlier like triangles were being protected. Look, there's no triangles, okay? The triangles were... They were cleansed in the Triangle Massacre of 1998. It is something that we try not to talk about. The Dodecahedron Doctrine has been pretty mom about it. They are not. It's, it wasn't the proudest moment. Turns out the triangles weren't that much of a threat. They were just kind of there and trying to live their own lives and the dodecahedrons kind of went a little overboard and now there's no more triangles but that's not gonna happen again these damn squares they have done such terrible things such heretical terrible evil things they deserve everything that's happening here i used to have a shotgun blasting through this land now I am the drone pilot for these airstrikes. There is just a massacre happening, wholesale massacring of these people that are beyond hope, they are beyond redemption. There is just no way to bring them back into the properly angled population. They are lost souls that simply need to be eradicated. It's gonna happen eventually. I am only one soldier among many. There's so many more of righteous crusaders out there doing the dodecahedron lord's work. I am but one finger in this many, many grafted hand full of fingers. There's like at least seven or even 27 fingers in this hand. I don't know how many fingers there's in this hand, 
but there's a lot of them, okay? I am only a soldier. I am only following orders here. I, I do believe in the creed and all the teachings of it, but come on, I'm just, uh, I'm just a fellow pilot piloting drone strikes. You can't possibly blame me for the wholesale massacre of an entire population. I'm just doing what I'm told by my superiors. I'm very proudly so. I'm not going to pretend like, oh, this fills me with, with terrible guilt. No, these disgusting, pathetic, lower tier shapes, they all do need to take taken care of. Look, we can all pretend, we can all pretend like the low tier shapes, they can just exist there and take up resources and all that. But we know the truth. We know that, that this is unsustainable. The squares are gobbling up all these damn resources without putting in all the work. They're mingling with the circle filth. They're trying to become something they're not. Look at, look at the mixture of circles and squares. The disgusting heretical offspring that they have created. And it's all a drain on our dominion resources and we gotta come in here and just put a stop to it do we gotta put a stop to it there is no way around it we tried our best we tried to just tolerate their presence we tried to make it so that oh maybe we can all coexist maybe we can all pitch in together and the circles can find their place in society as just maybe i don't know buffoons jesters entertainers worthless decoration on street corners it's not like they're ever going to do any productive work or anything like that but no we are throwing in the towel it's over it's over we gotta just do a massive massive geometrical cleansing here super armor you say spawn Ooh, more in more spawning oh yeah that's where we're at Ooh, baby this attack size is out of control and more armor is pretty damn important Yes, more armor against bosses. Absolutely. Actually, probably don't want that until I actually get to the boss. This square is just gigantic. Uh, I don't even have to move it. I have upgraded from... Oh, the Pentagon! I can't believe it. One of my own is here. One of... My they are rebelling. <laughs> oh, no. We have, we have a civil war in our hands. I can't believe the terrible heretical ways they have spread this far i am one of these pentacles i fight for the right cause and here i am killing my own brethren i need to disavow i disavow this disgusting pentagon they have no idea what they're doing i can say in pentagon what I mean to say is pentagon. Yeah, pentagon is the right word. Hexagon, pentagon. Look, I get mixed up sometimes in mathematical terms because something you may not know. I grew up in Spain. I And as somebody who spoke Spanish, I abandoned Spanish as my first language pretty handily. I had no problem with that. I mean, I had some problem, but it was not too hard. Math... I still do it in Spanish. I don't know if you are aware of that little quirk of the way that the brain works, but it's true. Got on a little bit of a tangent there telling you some life anecdotes. Where well, here I am, it just completely discombobulated me, man. Seeing, seeing my own in this land, fighting for the enemy. We have underestimated the rhetoric. We have completely misjudged our enemy turns out that they converted with their dastardly insidious diversity talking points they converted some of our own into their own cause and now everything is so much more harder now the lines are starting to blur between friend and foe I completely forgot about these milestones let me claim some more actually i thought there would be more Give me some extra damage, maybe. No, we're still dying too easily. Let me just put some armor, armor, armor. More armor forever. We're dying too damn easily against these damn pentagons. They know my own tactics. Of course they do. 
their turncoats. They are evil, disgusting, garbage traitors. I need to go out of my way to kill them all. Oh yeah, stop them. Stop their insidious, misguided betrayal. I cannot believe this is happening, man. I used to have very clear lines. There was an enemy and there was friends. And now it, it's just a mess. A red blobby mess of just targets. And here I am piloting my airstrike drone, thinking that I am doing the right thing. But am I? When my very own brethren, is that my wife? Is that my child? I cannot tell. All pentacles kind of look the same, but it does fill me with existential dread. I may be killing my own brother in this horrible, horrible, terrible experience. Hey, we finally encountered the boss. The boss is too powerful, though. This boss is just like the damage that is happening here. They have the Pentagon strategies have spread through the populace. They bring some higher technology, some much more powerful armor. It is truly upsetting. I cannot possibly ask for more spawns. I cannot possibly be like that. The problem is that there's not enough damage happening against my enemies. Therefore, more firepower is required. Let me just give them more pain, more projectiles, maybe fragmentation projectiles. It is not enough to just blow them up in one explosion. We need shrapnel going into your anus, obliterating these pathetic creatures. It no longer is enough. They have evolved past the obliteration from circle explosions. It used to be that their population got extremely destabilized by the inclusion of circles. Now they can just absorb it. Is this perhaps some kind of metaphor? Some some allegory that I am just not grasping right now? It cannot possibly be. They're just circles in my presence. They are filthy co-minglers and they all need to be evaporated. If they do not kill themselves well, I will help them into oblivion. How about that, huh? huh? The screen is becoming more red than black. This is starting to kind of stress me out. I thought that here I was on a holy crusade of cleansing. Turns out that they are kind of gaining more power. They're outpacing my firepower and this is starting to fill me with existential dread. What is happening right now? I had such strong, unshakable convictions, but apparently they weren't as unshakable because they are they do be shaking though. They do be shaking right now. Oh well, that was a massive circle explosion. Oh, I see. All I need is more firepower. That is the answer to all my problems. All I need is to spend more money on the military industrial complex, throw more firepower at the problem. If the problem blows up, well, then you don't have a problem anymore, do you? Truly, uh, that is the true teaching that I need to harvest from this entire experience. Here I was somehow, look at all those pentacle, pentacle children that get mowed down. They're not even children. They're not even things. They are just objects for me to destroy. We are no longer seeing these as misguided souls. That We are long past that. They are now nothing but targets, just objects floating in space. A little bit more regeneration. Any milestone going on here? Uh, the armor against bosses is going to start being uh, relevant. I am so glad that I, for a moment there, my foundations were starting to shake. But the message, the gospel from the Dodecahedron doctrine came from above and cleansed my soul of all sin. I was, I was a doubter. For a moment there, I was quite a doubter. But all I needed was to increase my firepower. And now look at the result. All of these pathetic shapes are getting absolutely destroyed. Look at that. Look at the massive obliteration of their existence. Once more, they go back to being just sad, pathetic little religionless shapes, godless and pathetic barbarians. 
is what they are. Look how they dwell in their mire and the muck, the filth that they all just embrace and just fill their mouths with. Truly a disgusting sight. They are something that I did not even realize. These pentagons are exploding into more pentagons. They are really exploding to children. This is just some disturbing stuff. They're using children as frontline fighters. That is some messed up. I knew it. I knew. I knew these monsters could not be trusted. Here I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. What a foolish, foolish mistake. How idiotic of me to even consider that there was even the possibility of dialogue. They used their young for father. Not even the triangles did that. The triangles who got absolutely cleansed in the massacre of 1998. At least they fought with a little bit of honor. All they, they only send their sharpest angles into the battlefield leaving the blunt ones behind because they knew that it was just cruel and unusual punishment for them. I mean, it, it did cost them the entire war because basically they divided their forces and then we eradicated their front lines and then we went to their homes and just, just completely cleansed their entire existence. All young and reproductive triangles got absolutely murdered. It was a bloodbath. And uh, they were just foolish to be honor honorful. That's totally a word. Don't look it up. To be honorable, it is folly. So, you know, the squares and their disgusting garbage allies circles, they did internalize the fact that, hey, we need to go all out on war or there's no way we're ever going to succeed. I mean, they did understand that. Yes, give me, give me all of this. Give me all... Plus two pulse bolts per attack. Hell yeah. Oh, the prestige level is level six now. We're climbing to the higher echelons. What else can we find as we climb up this tower?